Students commonly get questions about the class width marked wrong because the misconception is that the class width for the first class, for example, by taking 69 minus 60, giving a class width of 9. That is incorrect. To find the class width, we need to take the vertical subtraction of two consecutive lower class limits or two consecutive lower class boundaries. So by subtracting 70 minus 60, we get the class width of 10 instead of 9. Notice the class width is consistent throughout the frequency table. Subtract any two consecutive class limits and you get 10. So the class width in this case is 10. If we were to subtract any two consecutive class boundaries, we would also get 10. And if we were to subtract any two consecutive class midpoints, we would get 10 again. So the class width is consistent whether you are subtracting consecutive class limits, class boundaries, or even class midpoints.